if you go to a McDonald's in the, in the UK and you buy a hamburger and you eat and you go to the same McDonald's in the United States and you buy a hamburger and eat the both of them test the same I believe they have over 95 percent plus similarities in test or accuracy or precision in test if you want to be a professional paint producer i want you to take this video very seriously my name is Eval sam Ele. welcome to the paint production pro i am your number one paint production professional in africa now do you wonder why you go to mcdonald's in the united kingdom and you buy a hamburger and you eat and then you go to a, a McDonald's again in the United States and you buy a hamburger and you eat and the both of them test the same. Do you know why? It's because over time they have developed a system they used to measure consistency and, and, and precision. That's why you go to the same ham, uh, McDonald's in UK and the same McDonald's too in the United States and their hamburger test the same. Different cook, cooks, different kitchen, different region or different environment. Now, if you go to a Dulux color center in the united states i tell them to give you a five liter uh, uh, egyptian cotton they'll mix that five liter egyptian cotton in their tinting machine for you and then if you still go to a deluxe color center in lagos nigeria i tell them to mix a, an Egypt, egyptian cotton five liter they will go to their their color tinting machine and mix the same thing now do you know why that why they are able to achieve um, that level of precision it's because they have developed a system a measurement system that ensures consistency and predictability now do you want to as a, a professional paint producer do you want to develop um, your your skill to that point where you're able to get that same level of precision and consistency or where a client is able to predict that once they, they order for um, a certain color and and they reorder again in the next two years you are able to achieve that level of consistency and predictability now this is why this video is for you so i like us to start this way i think your journey to understanding um, color precision will begin this way it will begin with you understanding this simple concept because by standard a uh, measurement of of paint or paint chemicals are measured in grams and kg or let me say grams and liters so 1000 grams makes up one kg and then uh, 1000 gram also is equals to one um, liters that means one kg is equals to one liters um kg or let me say kilogram is a measurement language used to describe solid content majorly while liters is a measurement language used to describe pure liquid content that's why you go to the finishing and the, and the self-wear for you in liters and you go to let me say to buy um chicken also they sell this chicken for you in kg one kg and one liters is the same thing it's just that uh, liters is, is used to to describe measurement of pure liquid content while kilogram is used to describe measurement of of both leak of both um sorry of both solid and paste content so how do we break down this so that you understand it so i'd like to begin um with the introduction of a digital skill and an analog skill because this is what helps you to ensure consistency and predictability of colors another way to explain this is, is this way um if you go to buy dulux emotion you go to buy uh, let me say a benjamin more emotion the both emotion high quality will, def will definitely be high quality emotion but the both emotion might look different in texture or in appearance there will, there will just be one or two differences in let me say the two brands and the reason why those differences are there it's because benjamin moore has their own special recipe they have developed they have developed to produce uh, their emotion and Dulux have their own uh, technology they have developed their own recipe they have developed to produce their own emotion so the way they're able to achieve that is through a development of a special formulation guide so Dulux has their own special formulation guide they use that is different from benjamin moore's formulation guide that's how they are they are able to come up with their own special emotion paint that is different from benjamin moore's emotion paint and that is um, what in business they call trade secret. Okay, let me say you just started out paint production and then um, you you want to become special, you want to have your own special unique listing and you, 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 you do trial and error, trial and error, trial and error 
until you're able to develop your own special formulation guide and this is what it looks like let me assume that this is what it looks like so um this is a formulation guide for 20 for production of 20 liters of emotion paint and this is what it looks like so water is 10 liters Cargon is 50 liters, titanium dioxide is 1 kg, acrylic is 2 kg, calcium carbonate is 12 kg, genopol is 150 grams, deformer is 50 grams, thickener is 120 grams, and then preservative is 100 grams, while antifungi is 50 grams. Please, this is 50 grams. This is 50 grams. Yeah, so let's see, you're, you're able, you're able to, to do. And now, how do you develop this? You said it was true um trial and error process for you watching this that might still be confused i will i think i will, I will bring this down into a practical we we'll use the skill to demonstrate it okay so this is our digital skill let's explain how the digital skill works when i drop this and it measures 690 grams um now i told you 1000 grams makes up a kg so this is zero here it's as it counts to a point where it gets to 1000 that means it's one kg and then plus whatever uh, extra extra let me see stuff you have so now how are you able to uh, you know this is measuring 690 grams how are you able to measure to get accuracy there's a place in the scale that t-a-r-o-e is written this is star t-a-r-o-e now what this place is supposed to help you do is that when you press this when you press this you take the measurement back to zero 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 that that, that it, it has taking away the content itself the sorry, the container itself so that you can measure your content accurately so let's measure something and let's see this is calcium carbonate let me say i am to use um one cage of calcium carbonate for instance as i put as i put it reads i add again it reads i add again it reads and this is how you add up until you get 12 kg if you want to measure water, you flow through the same process. If you want to measure carbon, you flow through the same process. If you want to measure titanium dioxide, you flow through the same process. If you want to measure acrylic, you flow through the same process. So you flow through the, the process until you are able to achieve your emotion. And this is just a formulation guide. A formulation guide. So the reason why Benjamin will produce emotion that will be different from this, Benjamin will produce emotion that will be different from this, those who produce emotion that will be different from this is because there are just a little differences in their own formulation guide. So, if you want to understand, um, let me say, production of paint to achieve, let me say, consistency and predictability of a quality paint product, you have to understand how to achieve a formulation guide and measure through until you get a, a standard product at the end of the day. So, this is the analog skill. And this is how the analog skill reads. So, this is, um, I, I dropped this 4 liter uh, container here. So you, you there's a screw here. You have to twist this screw, twist this screw until everything comes to zero. Once it comes to zero, uh, okay, everything comes to zero. Yes, Every, everything comes to this zero point here. So once it comes to this um, zero point here, I can easily measure. Let me add up water here. Water. As I'm adding, is reading. As I'm adding, is reading. It's reading until. It comes to this point this point here is one kg and the same 1000 gram principle is what it still follows now this here this here is 500 grams okay that's that's half of a kg so if you read the skill very well you understand it and you're able to do better and this is more like a journey so that we are taking you through um we started with you know the introduction video and the other day we did basic understanding as a beginner and the other day again we did um, your chemicals understanding your chemicals the way Ronaldo understands football and so we are doing measurements so the next video we're going to be doing will be pure practical and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to our channel you know like our videos if you have any question any question any concern put it at the comment section i'll personally handle it and please like this video share it and don't fail to turn your notification bell so that you get more notifications for all the videos that are coming in and then subscribe again subscribe again subscribe again subscribe again thank you